Hello again, my name's John and welcome to another video. This time I'll show you how we make our traditional Yorkshire puddings. I tried to work out how many we've made over the years at work and I lost count around 400,000. So we do have a little experience in making these, but they are very simple to make. And here's a list of the ingredients you'd need if you want to have a go at making them yourself. OK, I'll start by preheating the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, that's 395 Fahrenheit or gas mark 6. I'm setting mine to 180 Celsius because my oven is fan assisted and it runs about 20 degrees hotter than indicated on the dial. And for this recipe you need a 12 cup muffin tin. The 12 cup tins are the ones we use at work. This 4 cup is a more domestic tin, but this recipe is exactly the same whatever size tin you have. Now, Yorkshire puddings is always best and traditionally cooked in beef dripping. If you can't get that you can use lard or even vegetable oil. I'm using beef dripping so I'll put approximately 8 grams, that's quarter of an ounce, in each cup. Okay, I'll place the tray in the preheated oven and then get started on the batter. Right, start by adding the eggs and the salt to the bowl and give those a good whisk before adding the flour. You can use a stand or a hand mixer to do this recipe but not everyone has those so I'll demonstrate by hand. Time to add the flour. Whisk the flour into the eggs until it becomes a thick paste. Then add a little of the milk and water to loosen it up a bit and whisk this until there's no lumps left before adding the rest of the milk and water. If you add all the liquid at once you'll have a terrible job trying to get all the lumps out. So believe me, it's easier this way. Once the batter is smooth, you can add the rest of the milk and water and whisk that in. Right, almost done. Just give the batter a final whisk for about a minute. If you're using a machine, make that 30 seconds. By the way, this batter will happily sit in your fridge for a day or two if you wanted to make it beforehand. After a few hours in the fridge, it'll go a dirty grey colour, but it's fine. Just give it a whisk up to revive it when you're ready to use it. Now transfer the batter into a jug, ready for filling the muffin cups. Don't waste any, scrape all of the butter out of the bowl with a spatula. OK, time to start cooking them. Very carefully take the hot tin out of the oven because this fat is extremely hot and fill the tins on top of a cooker. Whatever you do, don't put these tins on a wooden worktop. Right, fill the cups halfway. If there's any left, top them up again until the jug's empty. Then get them straight into the oven and set your timer for 30 minutes. I'll do a short demonstration on the 4 cup tin in a moment. 
Now, don't be tempted to sneak a look halfway through, or you'll risk them collapsing with the sudden drop in temperature when the oven door opens. Ok, after 30 minutes, take out these beautiful golden brown Yorkshire puddings. You can serve these straight away or they'll keep in the refrigerator for 2-3 to three days. Or you could make a large batch of them because these freeze very well. Ok, as promised I'll quickly speed through the 4 tin version. But like I said earlier, it's exactly the same recipe as for the 12 tin batch. This size will only give you about 8 Yorkshire puddings though, but they are a bit bigger. In my next video, I'll be doing a variation on this theme by making a classic British recipe. In fact, I'll be demonstrating the whole meal, which has been a favourite with our customers for many years. These Yorkshire puddings are traditionally served with roast beef, but they go with any roast meat. Also, they're great with stews and casseroles. Well, once again, thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed and found the video useful. So, until the next time, please like, share, comment, and maybe subscribe by hitting the circle above. In the meantime, here's some other videos you may want to watch. Bye for now.